Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to rid those pesky Aptasia with F Aptasia. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Teats. So there is many ways to battle those pesky little Aptasia. Um, in the past, my original method was to use kelp wasser. And again, I would just make a kelp paste, drop the flow and smother them in it. And this does work. It does kill them and it works pretty well. Uh, another product I tried was Aptasia X and honestly I feel like this it does kill that one but I always felt like there's more babies it spreads more afterwards so this one's has been a little hit or miss for me. Uh, my other way kind of cheap method if you guys have it is just cover it in super glue. So take super glue cover it smother over top of it and you kind of create a little tomb for it which prevents it from spreading. Um, but my favorite way lately is actually using F Aptasia. And this one's really cool because it's basically like a kelp paste that forms a hard shell over it. So it kills that one, but it also encrusts it into a little tomb as well. So it's almost like mixing the super glue and the kelp paste message together, which is really cool. Um, so I have used this one a few times and I've been very, very happy with it. Now I also did add a copper band butterfly to the tank and he's been going after the little ones, I hope anyways. Um, but there's still a few monsters and a few bigger ones in there that I haven't seen him touch. They're probably just too big for him. So today we are gonna take them out with some F Aptasia. Now a couple things to note with this is when you first get it, you'll notice you got a popsicle and a little syringe in there with a couple different tips. Now it is important to shake this really, really well. And when you're shaking it for like a minute, shake it longer, right? So you just start shaking, shaking, shaking. And shake, shake, shake. So you gotta do a lot of shaking to get this really mixed up properly in order for it to work well. So generally I'll shake it for like a minute or two, then I'll take the popsicle stick and I'll stir it for a minute or two. And then I'll probably shake it some more and then we should almost be ready to go. Uh, two things we need to do. We need to take the, turn off the flow. I believe the instructions say turn off for about 30 minutes. I like to do it for more like 45 minutes or longer. Um, otherwise, if you turn on too quick before it kind of hardens in this little cap, it will blow around your tank. And I mean, your filtration will take it out. It's not the end of the world, but I like to make sure it's fully sealed in those little bugger Aptasia before it's it spreads around, right? So, um, the other couple things to note is, if this gets on a coral, it'll probably kill the coral, so you gotta be careful where you do it. Now, the nice thing is, it does film kind of a harder paste on it, so as long as you're, you know, steady with your syringe, you're pretty safe there. Starter's gonna turn off my flow, so I'm just gonna plug all my pumps, battery backups, on to phase two, popsicle stick. So there is a little ball bearing in there, you can kind of hear it going around, but this stuff is really, really thick and it definitely does separate. So key to success in this is mixing very, very well. Can't stress that enough. Mix the heck out of this before you use it if you wanna be successful. Now, another thing to note is this will spike your pH a little bit. Um, so it probably does have some form of calc washer mix in there. So if you have a small nano tank, you probably don't wanna be using, you know, a full two ounce bottle one shot. You might wanna break it up. Now my tank in 200 gallons, I'm not too worried about it, but We'll see how far we go, and if we use Octator, I'm really curious to see how much it does spike it, but... As long as we accomplish our mission of getting rid of those pesky Aptasia, then hopefully, if there's any little babies or any little ones that pop up afterwards, my little buddy, the Copper Band, will hopefully finish them off for me. Now, kind of common reefing sense knowledge, make sure you rinse your arms well before you dive into the tank, especially these days with dipping your hands and sanitizing 3,000 times. You don't really want all that sanitizer and stuff in your tank, so make sure you rinse off your arms very well. All right, so right down there is our first test subject, and you can see him right about there, and that's the guy we're gonna target first. Now he is gonna suck in, so we gotta make sure we smother him right away. So I shoot right for the mouth, and then I kind of circle around it to kind of make sure you capture all the tentacles, and you make sure everything gets sucked in and just covered in the F Aptasia. So that guy is pretty covered. Again, try and make sure you don't get any of this on your corals. Our next test subject, or our next target rather, is right there. So this guy's hiding right in the zoa. So sometimes you do have to sacrifice a couple of zoas when you do this, but in the end I'd say it's worth it. We could actually have two of them right there. All right, two big ones down. Next on the list, we have one right in front of all our rock flowers. So we can get the needle in the right spot, shoot it right in the mouth, and then kind of just circle around it, make sure it's entirely encased. 
to seal the deal. Now that I hit all the big ones, I'm gonna leave the flow off for about 45 minutes or so before I turn it back on. We're gonna make sure this has lots of time to kind of harden over and crust, you know, maybe even leave it for an hour just to be safe. Now there is other options like peppermint shrimp sometimes work or Bergen nudie branks can work, but I have a lot of wrasses in my tank, so they're just gonna become expensive stacks. So f is really the best solution, at least in my scenario, and it's a pretty solid one. If you've never tried it, I'd definitely recommend giving it a try. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, as always, hit that like button. If you've got any questions on it, let me know in the comments below. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna get back to hitting some more Aptasia.